Hello everyone. With this online tutorial, what we're going to be doing is figuring out how to do the prime factorization of any given number. What is prime factorization? Prime factorization is just a process of breaking different numbers down into all prime numbers. But you have to understand what a prime number is before we can actually do a prime factorization. A prime number is a number that has exactly two factors, one times the number itself. An example would be the number three. You can only multiply one times the number three to produce a number three. There are no other factor pairs that will produce the number three. The number five is another example of a prime number. What's a non-prime number? Well, that would be like the number nine. You can do one times nine and you can do three times three. Therefore, that number is not prime. We would call that number composite. Well, let's go over here to demonstrate how to do a prime factorization. Now, another name for prime factorization is a factor tree because it kind of looks like a tree when you're done uh, doing your prime factorization. So let's start with the number 24. What you do is you make something which resembles an upside down V. And you have to find two products which will produce 24. One rule though when you do a prime factorization is you cannot use the number one at all in the factor tree. So what can make 24? Well this is one example. We can do four times six. Now what you gotta do is when you break them down into the different factors, ask yourself, are those factors prime numbers? If they are not prime numbers, you are not finished with your prime factorization. For example, 4 can be break, broken down further into 2 times 2. And 6 can be broken down further into 2 times 3. Now, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which are all prime numbers. So let's move over to the number 36. Let's do a factor tree of the number 36. Well, two numbers that can produce 36 would be 6 times 6, which make 36. 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3, and this is another 6, so we also do 2 times 3. And now, in the bottom row, we have all prime numbers. Now, there's a couple useful applications for factor trees. If you have two numbers and you do the factor trees of both of those numbers, you can use the digits at the bottom to figure out what is the greatest common factor of those two numbers at the top, or the least common multiple. And there's a little trick to doing this. And here's what you do. You start all the way on the bottom on the left, and we have a number 2 here. And you find a match in the other row of the other number. So start with this number 2 and see if there's a number 2 that can match up along with it. So we have a 2 here and a 2 here. Let's go to the next number. It's another 2. And because we have a number 2 in our list over here, we're going to also circle that number 2. The next number is also a 2, but there is not another match on this side, so we do not circle this number 2. The next number is 3, and because we have a 3 over here and a 3 over here, we're going to circle that pair. Now, once you have circled all the numbers, you take just one of the rows. It can be the one on the left or the right. Take the numbers that you have circled and simply multiply them together. 2 times 2 is 4, and we take that number and multiply it by the other circled number. 4 times 3 is 12. So we would say that the GCF of 24 and 36 is equal to 12. Now, what about the least common multiple? To find the least common multiple of 24 and 36, all you need to do is, after you have circled the matches, underline the number that you did not circle. Sometimes you will be underlining more than one digit, but in this case, we only have one digit uncircled. You take that uncircled digit and multiply it by the top number of the factor tree on the opposite side. In this case, we have 2 times 36, which is 72, or I can do 3 times 24, which would also give us 72. So we would say the least common multiple of 24 and 36 is 72. So whenever performing the prime factorization of any two given numbers, not only can you find the greatest common factor, but you can find the least common multiple.